Okay, I think we're ready for the grand tour before I uh, put the uh, the bumper cover back on. Uh, so the parking heater itself is mounted on a plate, which is uh, directly in front of the radiator. Uh, even though there were a bunch of holes in that plate, uh, you know, no two of them happen to line up with the mounting bracket. So I had to drill a couple of holes. So the heater... There's the heater, and then coming down off of it is the muffler. The muffler bracket is also mount, mounted to the same um, that body-colored uh, plate. And then coming down from the muffler, I cut a hole in the black plastic trim, and I used a bracket and a self-tapping sheet metal screw to go up into metal so the exhaust clears the plastic, clears the metal, and goes away from the vehicle. The air intake goes to a little muffler that's zip tied up out of the way. I also made sure that the wire harness for the boiler was up and out of the way. The fuel pump is on the other side of the plate. Um, kind of hard to see down in there, but it's between that mounting plate and the radiator. Uh, the wire harness comes up this way. I drilled a couple of holes in the pieces of trim to zip tie it, get it out of the way, and right here it should be clear of the cover once that's up in place. Uh, all the extra wire harness I coiled up and shoved back in the corner. Here is the relay. Uh, here is the little fuse box for the boiler. Uh, that takes three fuses, and I will have to put those in uh, before I go and I test fire this all. Uh, the positive wire I connected down onto the battery. I just put it right on that uh, kind of that tightening nut. Uh, right on there like that. That way the cap still comes down pretty easy over the top of it. And the ground I just took to um, this bolt right up here. It's a little hard for filming because I've got both bright sunlight and uh, shadows here so I apologize for that. Um, so there's the brown to the ground right there. Um, the extra wiring harness I just zip tied up out of the way to come back to the coil. And then the one for the controller unit goes right back down behind the battery, follows the contour of the car, and it comes up through a little grommet hole uh, not too far from the steering and about the middle of the car. Um, I also wrapped the coolant lines uh, to and from the heater uh, in uh, this double-sided radiant barrier insulation, and I zip tied it down. Um, I'm going to test fire it all, and after that, I'll probably use some of the same insulation to make some sort of a cover around this, and hopefully that should help with the heat loss a little bit, whether I'm running on gas or electric. So the one other big step remaining is I do not have a proper fuel tank. I've just been using a little bottle down here um, for testing, um, but the fuel tank is going to go uh, basically right in front of the battery. Um, fuel tank's going to go in this space, and I'm planning on running this on E85 and straight ethanol. Now the fun part. I get to put the bumper back on and see if I actually got the clearances for the radiator hoses right. And if I didn't, uh, the bumper cover's not going to go on. Well, let's give it a shot. Fit back on, all right. Okay, here we go. Um, the heater is on. I'm using a temporary fuel tank. The clicking sound is the fuel pump, and that turbine sound is the heater going. Got a little heat coming off that exhaust pipe already. That does feel warm. It just sounds to me that that fuel pump is uh, pretty loud. Click, 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 click. And you can see the uh, coolant seems to really flow through there. You can actually see the, the kick of that fuel pump, how it vibrates the fuel line here. Kick, 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 kick. Sounds like a little jet engine.
see if any warm air is coming out yet. So what I did here, so inside the car I temporarily have the display just set down here. Just turned this on four minutes ago now total. And I've got the temperature set to neutral. Not hot, not cold, but started it being in the hot position. So uh, coolant should go through the uh, heat exchanger. And then the fan I've got cranked up and we're going heat to the feet. And uh, it's warm, but it's like barely warm. I'm gonna take a few minutes to heat up, I think.